you cannot 100% regulate it. By the nature of uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, the basic, well, the basic one, Bitcoin, uh, it's decentralized, it's not controlled or belong to anyone. You cannot do anything with it. You shut it down here while it res up there. Now, Maxim, why are governments trying to regulate cryptocurrencies? Yeah, good question. Many, many events happening lately in the regulation area. And uh, mostly it, uh, they got attracted to, uh, to the level of activity in crypto space and the valuation of the whole market. It's not anymore like something which you can ignore. It's 10 or 20 billion. It's like, like became bigger. It's like it was 100, 120, 140 billion. You do not ignore it anymore. And secondly, because, uh, because there are indeed some, uh, quite some, I would say even quite some, events of scam or building illegal uh, or not properly designed financial schemes. So government uh, naturally do react to this kind of things. Um, there are some other subtle uh, reasons why they do or why every why different uh, uh, governments uh, do uh, in this way, but basically just the evolutionary process of our crypto. It uh, came out of uh, becoming some small experiment where only geeks and nerds are playing around. It is now uh, partially quite, no, not big, but uh, a visible financial market too. And it's naturally that uh, whenever it becomes financial market, it has to be regulated. Otherwise, well, we had the Wild West in crypto and it's still partially Wild West. And uh, as we know from history, at some point of time, Wild West become more regulated, more organized. And uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. It's just a natural process of a wall in crypto space. Now, will cryptocurrencies ever be regulated fully? You cannot 100% regulate it. By the nature of uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, the basic, well, the basic one, Bitcoin, uh, it's decentralized. It's not controlled or belong to anyone. You cannot do anything with it. You shut it down here while it res up there unless government all over the world, whatever the reasons is, try to combine and say, illegal, not possible to exchange to fiat currency. Maybe they will limit it somehow, but it's unlikely governments are also competing with each other. So like Bitcoin, you cannot regulate it in a, in a like 100% uh, uh, fashion way. Uh, some other cryptocurrency based projects you can do because they're run by companies, they're run by people. You can issue laws, you can know, send them to prison. Mm -hmm. So here, some level of regulation is possible. Uh, and I would divide it, yeah. Fully decentralized um, protocols or currencies which do not belong to anyone or run by anonymous uh, group of people, you cannot regulate them. Crypto projects based on these protocols or uh, which have some, some centralization part of it can be and will be uh, regulated pretty soon. Now, how is the cryptocurrency community pushing back against these regulations? Um, the only thing crypto community can do is uh, we are trying to establish our own uh, frameworks or self-regulation processes. Uh, because basically we also want uh, the whole crypto uh, to be a success and uh, the ideas of decentralization or community working together, creating value and distributing value in a fair way uh, to succeed in the future, because we see in this great value, well, actually for everyone. And uh, the attempts of self-regulations are quite some. And uh, actually we at Sentiment also are now uh, trying to push one of them as a part of our financially uh, financial data on the platform. And uh, mm, it's only, it cannot be, it cannot be uh, like pushed to everyone and say, you have to follow it. Now, the only thing you can do, you try to uh, communicate in, in community, you try to uh, build relationships with many projects and you say, okay, we believe this is a good thing to do. We do it too. And, uh, those who believe it's a good thing too, let us join and make uh, or establish self-regulation process. Well, this is the only thing how we can internally regulate. And this is uh, what you uh, called uh, a fight back, but it's not really fight back, it's just an uh, uh, internal attempt for self-regulation or for establishing some level of transparency and uh, view for the future that, uh, yeah, 
we actually do a good thing that we try to do it uh, on every level, also on self-regulation. Well, thank you, Maxim, for joining us today and speaking about the regulations. Thank you for inviting and raising this uh, important and very actual topic. Thank you at home for watching. If you are in the cryptocurrency community, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interviews like this. Goodbye for now.